Hello, Mioni here, and today we're looking at harpoon fishing. This will be a small guide on how you can craft your own harpoon, go out there and make the most out of your fishing. Now, there are a few prerequisites you need to remember, first of which you need to be professional level 1 fishing at least. Now, at professional level 1 fishing, you do actually get, as an achievement reward for hitting that level, a fin harpoon, which is how I obtained mine. But if you are interested in crafting your own fin harpoon, uh, you can actually zoom out to the map here and you'll see north of Velia far north and in the northeastern section of the sea in fact there's Ilia Island that you may or may not be familiar with uh, on this island you can hire workers there are lodgings and more importantly over to the left there is a building uh, over here in fact which allows you to build at a tools workshop a thin harpoon it's worth noting that not all tools workshops in the world actually allow you to craft harpoons normally just fishing rods uh, but the ones near the ocean usually are at seaside towns etc so the mats for a thin harpoon are one cedar timber four copper ingots and one blackstone powder now this isn't going to set you back much more often than not you're going to be looking at spending five contribution points on the actual building to craft this and then you know a few k here or there of silver just to get this going so it's not actually too difficult the only thing that's really quite difficult is obviously fishing up to the point through auto fishing or manual fishing to the point where you have professional level one fishing which allows you to equip the thing so without further ado let's show you what it's capable of first of all you see it basically does look like a large crossbow uh, quite nice it's got chain bound sort of bow strings instead of actual strings which are kind of cool and um, it really does look the business and I'm pretty sure if you were to fire this at uh, any kind of fish it's more likely to uh, destroy it than you know have anything left for your supper so like you uh, would imagine you just equip this by right clicking it it replaces whatever first and secondary weapon you have equipped it looks pretty beastly. I can't get over the look of this thing. But essentially, you'll see at the top there is a spacebar functionality. It says to press space to begin fishing. Well, there's an interesting little technique to this. Uh, you may be going out there yourself and going, why am I not getting any fish? Well, here's the answer to that. What you want to do is press the spacebar as someone else drives a boat, so preferably someone else's fishing boat, as I've seen here with Black Rose's fishing boat, uh, which we are all sat on. And uh, when we were trying this out, it actually only goes down in durability uh, by one point when you actually are in a location where a fish is hooked. So basically what you need to do is press spacebar and then go into your inventory and look if it's dropped one durability. If it hasn't, keep on driving and press spacebar again and then and keep going until basically you have lost that one durability point stop the boat and then wait until the fish is basically on the hook inverted commas and then it will ask you to press space to start a new mini game now if you're unfamiliar with this mini game it's not really as hard as uh, well any of the other mini games in the game it's fairly straightforward essentially what you're doing is you're moving this red reticle around and you are pressing space bar when you are close to if not on a fish that swims around this pool now this fish will swim periodically off of the big blue pool in front of you so you wait until it comes on even in the corners you don't have to get a direct hit and essentially what you're doing with each hit is you're reducing its life at the top there is a bar it says you're reducing its speed uh, but essentially you're reducing the stamina of the fish each time a harpoon goes near to or hits the fish uh, obviously more powerful fish will require more stamina drain but as you can see here with this fin harpoon we get 15 shots out of this single harpoon cannon before basically we fail the minigame so we have to make sure we reduce the HP of the said fish to zero before we run out of harpoons fairly self-explanatory stuff and once you've reduced a fish's health to zero you simply press R once the minigame has closed and you loot your fish. Now unfortunately this is a bit long winded and the materials to make this are a little bit estranged. Like I say they're fairly easy to obtain but the crafting process is fairly annoying. And uh, from what I had over the ooh, maybe three or four hours we went around the entire ocean fishing in various spots I was only really able to get uh, whites and occasionally a green but that's that's about it I'm sure there are fishing hotspots available that I know nothing about we had a look online to see if there's any more information on places that the Russians and the Koreans actually go fish with this the short answer was that it's more likely to be a waste of your time you're more likely to get more money if you go and take a thick fishing 
fishing rod, for example, or just a basic fishing rod, and go with your fishing boat to a gold hotspot, uh, which we'll talk about in a future video when I look at advanced fishing, and you're basically able to pull out a boat of yellow fish. This seems to be suboptimal, and you can't use this harpoon in any other spots, you know, like fishing hotspots with a rod you'd usually get. Uh, it simply doesn't work. It's got its own hotspot system. Now, until someone finds hotspots and they're all of rage, this has no real practical use. It takes a lot of time. There's no auto AFK functionality with it, so obviously a lot of people have been leveling, you know, automatically, not manually. Myself included to get to professional level. I think I'm professional level 3 now through auto fishing. But in short, this is what you want to do if you want to do it. Now, there are uh, reports people have posted on Reddit that they've managed to get baby sperm whales, for example, and other fantastical creatures, but they refuse to, obviously, refuse to show their map. Um, but, you know, it's out there if you want to. You can catch baby whales. Now, the big size, uh, big full size whales are actually part of the hunting skill system, which we'll look at in a future video, of course. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this video. I found it rather lackluster in a short sort of hands on review. Obviously, this isn't fine tuned much, and hopefully, they add more to this profession in the future to like the advanced fishing mechanics. Uh, because at the moment, there's, uh, you know, huge withdrawals. I might as well have just got a rod and gone fishing myself myself normally but it's kind of fun it's a bit of an adventure and uh, obviously you need the 1.5 million investment for a fishing boat or your friend does so think of that before you invest thank you very much for watching this video hopefully this small little guide or little introduction to harpoon fishing has been of some use or insight into whether you think it's worth or not for you to go tell me of your exploits in the comment sections below i am very interested to see if you've got any gold fish with this if so where I'm very interested. Thank you very much for watching, like I say, and I will see you next time.